Hey everybody, today we're taking a look at these full color night vision goggles. Let's open it up and check it out. Here's everything included in the box. First, we've got a nice carry case that'll keep it protected here. We've got a nice long strap that you can attach. You can string it around your neck, a USB-C charge cord, and then we have the goggles themselves here, which also includes a 32 gig micro SD card. Let's come in for a closer look on the goggles. If we come in for a closer look on the goggles, these have a nice weight to them, but they're still lightweight, but it doesn't feel cheap. Overall build quality looks really nice. Doesn't feel like cheap plastic. Now on the front side here, we're gonna be looking into it. We've got a 2.3 inch HD screen. We'll be seeing that in action here shortly. It's got a 4,500 milliamp high capacity lithium ion battery that's built in. In the front here, we've got our USB-C port as well as the SD card slot. As I mentioned, they include a 32 gigabyte micro SD card already, but can support up to 256 gigabytes total, which means you're gonna be able to do photo and video recording right into the device. Now you can charge this up with USB in a half hour with fast charging, and you're supposed to get around eight hours of work time out of that battery charge. So the control center up here, we have our different buttons, but they have a real nice gratifying click to them. So you can hear as you press it, you can tell you're actually pressing the button and making your selections, but it's really easy to boot up. You hold the power button for a couple of seconds, this thing will kick right on. You can go through all sorts of different menu options, setting the time, date, the megapixels, the video recording resolution, all of that type of stuff. Very easy and straightforward to navigate the menu itself, but you'll mostly be using these two buttons on the here, the plus and minus sign. You'll be able to use this to zoom in and zoom out. We're gonna see this as soon as we go out into the field. Okay, and then you also have that ability when you're in the infrared mode to actually brighten the infrared light, five different levels of brightness as I mentioned. So with that being said, you can kind of see the display here lighting up right now, but we're too close to actually have any uh, good quality out of this. So we're gonna take this out, start doing some field tests and show you what it's really capable of doing. All right, so this is the field test here. We've got plenty of space and distance to try and test out the goggles. Goggles over here, obviously. And if you start to look at the image inside, A, you can still see inside of it during daylight. And you can see that the magnification already shows you this tree that's right here, but super up close and you have really good detail. And so this next shot, we're gonna look straight back here all the way as far back as we can go. It's pretty deep and we're still able to see way back there and we haven't even started to use the magnification within the goggles. All right, so we're back right now. This is about 30 minutes after sunset. I can kind of see back there, but it's starting to get dark. But you can see with the night vision goggles right here, just at the first tree, same tree, looks clear as day. And if we add in the highlight adjustment here, it gets super bright. We can still see quite well down to the back. Infrared not necessary, but we'll take a look at that as well. And so here we are as far back as possible. And same thing with the light. <clears throat> All right, so it is pitch black out here. Even if I boost my camera up to 6400 ISO, it can read the grass, but we still can't really see the tree out there. However, the night vision goggles in color mode can definitely see the flashlight hitting the tree. If we switch over into highlight, intensity right that actually is a real good improvement we can see there is some light beyond over there and then if we switch into infrared mode you can see it's already throwing a huge spotlight way out there super strong almost unnecessary and this is just at level one level two infrared level three infrared spotlight more than ample level four and level five. So tons of spotlight, you don't even need it. It's just overkill in a good way. So this is me at the halfway point at the tree. And I'm wearing black now to make it more interesting. And here I am again at the furthest point back. See me really well because of the infrared beam. At the end of the day, the goggles perform great, lightweight, easy to use, and amazing magnification right out of the box. The digital screen, super crisp. I don't know if the overlays do it justice, but when you're looking through this in low light, you've got a super nice, crisp image, day, night, even with the highlighting, and then you also have the infrared. And if that's something that you're looking for, these are definitely the thing that you're going to want to check out.